everyone, it's Yuri and welcome back to my plant channel. I just wanted to say thank you for helping me get to 200 subscribers. <laughs> Anyways, for today's video, I wanted to talk about my philodendron pink princesses. And yes, plural because my cuttings have taken root and I've actually planted two of them into real soil so they've graduated from water into my soil mix. I'll go over what the status of all the plants are including the mother plant which you can kind of see a peak of right now and how one of the cuttings didn't quite come out. It is salvageable but I just wanted to show you sort of the difference of how long things can take to root and where things might not go exactly as you might hope but you should still hold on. Anyways, let's get started. We're gonna start with the mother plant, which is right here. And it is growing bigger. The leaves have maintained. And you'll notice some of the leaves are not super happy like this one, but it was already like that before I took the cutting. The mother plant has been doing really well. There were two new growth points after I took my initial cutting. There's a baby one right here with the tiniest little leaf ever. It just grew right there. And I was hoping it would continue to grow, but it just popped out this little baby leaf and didn't do anything else. It just, that's all it did. So that was disappointing, but the good news is the main growth point, which actually you can see the cut that I took over here. That was where I took my initial chop, and then right next to it is where the main growth point happened, and it has since put out kind of a tiny leaf, but not so small, this little guy right here. And then one, two, three, new leaves since. This one doesn't have a very much variegation. You can see a little bit more of it on the back. This one has kind of a nice little pink splash. And the most recent one is definitely more pink, especially from the underside. So all in all, it's doing well and it's about to come out with a new leaf soon. And I am very tempted to give it another chop and grab another cutting here. I could do two chops actually. There's another root coming in right there. So I could do a, a chop chop and have two more <laughs> cuttings. I'm so tempted. And the reason why I'm tempted is because the cuttings that I did take are doing so well. They are right behind me, so you're ready for the reveal. <laughs> so I took three cuttings, like I said, and these two are the ones that did the best. I posted some photos on Instagram, and this one came out with this beautiful... These two actually semi half moons. They're not full half moons. There's like a little bit of green down there, but that line divide is just so awesome. Look how pretty that is. Anyways, I put it in soil and the leaves have since pricked up, so it seems like it's taking really well. There's another new leaf coming on this little guy right there. And my soil mix, you can see it's kind of chunky. Uh, I would normally make it a little bit more chunky, but this one is a mix of orchid bark, some leca clay, charcoal, regular, just all-purpose soil, um, some Nutricoat slow release fertilizer, and I think that's it. I did not put moss in this one. I have since decided that maybe I don't like moss in my mix, but in terms of the ratios, I kind of just mix it all together. Obviously, I don't use as much charcoal as everything else, and the Lekka clay balls tend to take more volume of space. But it's just this kind of chunky thing. It holds moisture because of the regular soil, but the Lekka balls will help keep things 
airy and well um, circulated. I don't really have much else to say about the soil, but I know some people are very particular. They're always looking for new soil mixes. I think for me, the main game changer has been putting in these like a clay balls into the mix. I think that it helps drain much better and I've actually even gone like almost pure like a balls, but then you have to water it so often that I have since changed my mix up. I put some more regular soil so that it'll hold moisture a bit better. I liked moss for that, but I've seen some other issues with moss, particularly seeing lots of bugs like fungus gnats that really are thriving in the moss. And I wasn't expecting that to happen, but that's just been kind of frustrating for me to deal with. So I have gotten rid of the moss altogether. And here's the second cutting that I took. This one actually gave me an, a real, my first half moon leaf. It's beautiful, I love it so much. This is the original leaf that came with. It's starting to get a little bit uh, floppy. I think it's gonna lose it at some point, but that's totally okay, because I have three leaves on here. There's a tiny one right there. That one, maybe it's, this is more like two leaves, I guess. The little one doesn't really count. But I'm so excited about this one stunning leaf. I think it's my favorite leaf out of all of the leaves of philodendron pink princesses that I have. This one is the queen for sure. Everyone loves a good half moon. And the soil mix is the same as the one before. Now the third cutting that I took didn't do so well but it's not dead yet and I'll show you what I mean. It's this sad little guy in here. You can kind of see it. I'll pull it out. So, as you can see, there's actually two little baby leaves that popped up. And it lost the original leaf that was on here. And there's very small root progress. I actually had this in water for a while. And um, the roots were looking pretty good. It dropped the big leaf. And I decided to experiment and put this in a bunch of moss and see if the stump would put out new leaves, which then it did. Actually, it, was, it didn't have these two tiny leaves until I put it in the moss. But then I looked at the moss again and it was just crawling with bugs. And there really aren't that many bugs in my grow room. Like there will be a gnat here and there, but there's really not much because I've done a good job just really cleaning the soil, using neem oil to do preventative care. And for some reason, this moss jar with this guy just was infested it even had these weird like clear i think they're nematodes but they were these weird clear things moving around and every time i moved the pot they're just like new bugs would come out with wings and i didn't want to like disperse them to the rest of my grow area so i actually literally just took this outside and i pulled gently all the moss off. I might have pulled some of the root off of this. I don't really know. It's hard to tell, but it's just, I tried to neem oil it. I tried to use some other stuff to just like clear the bugs out of this mess, but it just didn't work. And it smelled really strongly of neem oil for a while and it didn't do really anything. So best thing to do at that point is to get rid of the soil and to give it fresh new soil. I am currently debating whether or not I should put this back in water to rehab it a little bit or to put it back in soil. So I'm not sure. If you have any opinions, you should let me know in the comments below. Although by that point, I probably would have decided. Actually, I'm gonna put this in water for now, but if you feel very strongly, please let me know that I should actually be putting it back in soil. Honestly, as precious as these are, they are pretty sturdy. I mean, they, they want to stay alive if they can help it. So I'm going to do my best to just monitor it. If it doesn't look like it's doing well in water, I will probably resort to just sticking it in some moss again and hoping that that moss doesn't get infested somehow. I really have no idea how it got infested. Anyways, I think I'm just super ecstatic about how these came out and the mother plant is doing really well too. Honestly, I think I'm going to go and cut these two additional cuttings because this brings me so much joy and even if I lose one or even both at least I still have these and hopefully these will grow really quickly and give me even more cuttings. I saw a post recently of someone with a bunch of 
babies like this around the mother plant and it was just so much beautiful pink. I was initially gonna sell these, but I might keep them and just maybe grow them out and maybe I'll sell the next ones, I don't know. I think in particular, this half moon is just something that I am treasuring and wanna keep. I don't know. Anyways, that's my update on my PPPs. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. I'm really responsive. Some of you have DM'd me on Instagram and that's totally fine too. I'm just happy to help in any way I can. And good luck propagating. I'll see you next time.